Uh, I'd like to do something very quickly just before we start. And if I can make sure the cameras are in nice and close. Can you put your hand, Skulk, up against Donati's hand? Oh, there we go. Oh, wow, I love this. <laughs> <laughs> it's enormous, eh? Oh, that's... Uh... <laughs> the hand, ladies and gentlemen, the hand. <laughs> well, if everything was in proportion, I would have been eight feet tall. Right. <laughs> <laughs> It's one gold in particular that we really, really remember you for. Uh, mainly, I think, because it was so unexpected. Not that we didn't think you were good, we just didn't realise quite how good you were. Take us back to 2000 and that awesome foursome. Yeah, I don't think we also knew how good we were. Um, uh, you know, I think you know, something that n not most people know is that the same four guys exactly one year before at the World Championships, we got lost. Um, we wouldn't... We weren't even supposed to make the finals. We got ninth, a team got disqualified, and we snuck in. And uh, so that whole year was just really magical, you know, to be able to, to work with those guys. And, uh, and we didn't talk about a medal at all. We just said, if everyone really does their job, then we should be able to go at time with about 3.13, and that's exactly what we went. And um, it just happened that the other countries we were really bad on the day, <laughs> and we were really good, and it looked really impressive because right from the gun, I mean, Roland had a great dive, and every guy on the team just did exactly what he had to do, and my life changed forever. All, all those guys' lives, you know, changed overnight, and uh, you know, you know, for swimming, that's that's really as you know as big as it can get. It was, a, it was an incredibly tearful moment. Uh, it, it reminded me uh, in many ways of watching any episode of Idols that Inati has ever been part of because uh, there's no judge, I think, in the world in Idols, Inati, who, who gets so emotionally involved in the show. And uh, we saw the emotion here. Yeah, I, I think you've cried in every single episode. I really have, and I try every year not to. <laughs> and then I fail every year. Uh, you, you've, you do cry a lot. Mostly, I think, it's emotional. Have you ever burst into tears because the singing has just been that bad? This season we get very bad. <laughs> I, it's, it's embarrassing. <laughs> this season's very bad, Dan. I mean, we're, we're, we're going to Sun City next week and it's, it's, we've had them. I, I, I cried so much, it's embarrassing. And I asked the directors to keep my apology in the episode because I burst out so badly that I, I literally, I was drinking and then you, he slows it down and you literally see the spit coming out of my mouth. <laughs> so elegant, <laughs> extremely elegant. I want to talk to you about part of your backstory because it's a backstory not many people know much about uh, and that's your rugby not with the Springboks, not with Western Province, but, but you broke some pretty serious barriers at a time when breaking those barriers was uh, a very dangerous thing to do. Yeah, I decided to go and play for the Rugby League, the Federation guys, at, you know, <clears throat> 84, when the, the country was burning. And instead of practicing at Newlands, uh, we used to drive between burning tyres and I went and played with the, the then, like, colour team. And I'm the only white guy ever to become a Springbok out of a non-white team. Oh, wow. If you can put colour into it. But it was quite scary. At one stage, I was in the boot of a car and you could smell these burning tyres. And we went and practice at this ground, but you know, you never thought about it, you know, and it was the right thing to do. And we had a wonderful guy in Dougie Dyers, who was our coach and everything. But it was a strange environment, but it just shows you that uh, you do things what you think is right. And I thought it was right. And everybody said, you're not going to become Springbok in 84. And the interesting thing was I played a curtain raiser for the England Western Province game. And that night, the Springbok team was being announced. And I got announced to the Springbok team from out of the curtain raiser. Wow. <laughs> 